Oh shit, it's motherfucking Astro Boy. Hey. Motherfuckers high as fuck. <laughs> Astro Boy has killed millions of people. Why when should we care? Up, in the year 2000, there was no Astro Boy. Ooh. There was a real boy named Ooh. Astro Boynton. One day, he Ooh. was his aero car at supersonic speed on the world's safest road, Electronic Highway 66. Hey, is my mic working all right? No need for Astro to steer, speed no up, or slow down. Astro to steer. The highway controlled his car automatically. Automatically. All Astro had to do was press a button. The road did the rest. Yes, this was the highway of the future. Yes. Safe as man could make it. Which is not no that safe, but No need to safe. worry about a thing. Or was there? Oh, shit! <laughs> Dead. Dead. Oh god, look at all the bodies. But it was too late. There's Nikola Tesla in the middle. It's a rooster man! My son! Oh shit, dude. His son is dead, and that's the opening of the show. Oh god. Japanese children's shows are so depressing. <laughs> The that end. night, oh. at the Institute of Science, headed by Astor's father... Ah, yes, the Institute of Science. <laughs> Not any particular science, just science. Now, we're going old school tonight. No 2009 shit, I haven't never seen it. See you again. Oh, poor Dr. If Rooster. If only I could think of a way to bring Astro back to life. Always stay geeked up. But if I were to construct a robot... That's it, robot. I'll build a robot that looks like Aster. It'll be my masterpiece. He'll live forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> <laughs> we can rebuild him. Forever. The six dollar man. From now on, fellow scientists, every test tube and every machine we have is going to be devoted to one purpose. The construction of a super robot. That clear? The robot will look just like my son Aster. <laughs> He'll oh, operate on a rocket motor generating more than a hundred thousand horsepower. He'll leap over mountains, swim oceans. Space, I believe the Dr. Boyne's going mad. Hey! I said, I believe that Dr. Boyne's going mad. Hey! I said, I believe that Dr. Boyne's going mad. We will begin this new project at once. I know that I can count upon you all to help me. The robot must be finished no later than one year from today. From now on, this is my life's work. And it's 2014, we still don't have robots? I mean, come on. And so the very next day, every man and every machine in the great Institute of Science turned to a single task. The creation of Dr. Boynton's super robot. Middle Gear. Dead. <laughs> oh god, another that's like the third death. A right. month flew by. <laughs> All these scientists dying just for this one kid. 
exactly one year since I lost my son. But now I gained another. But now... He should totally make a hot robot waifu instead. My new son is going to be a credit to the original Aster Boynton. Oh, dude, I just noticed his beard, too. <laughs> I hereby christen thee my robot son, Astro Boy. <laughs> Rubs hands. Roll <laughs> over, <laughs> 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 Beethoven! Oh. Oh, somebody left the theremin on. <laughs> Gotta hear the blues today. I wonder what they put in the Japanese version. Maybe it's sukiyaki. <gasps> Fluid moving. Electricity doing stuff. It's working. My God. Dr. Frankenstein, I mean... Father of Astro Boy. Ultraman next to you. Next time we should do this in Japanese too. Oh god. Oh god, the pain. Why did you bring me into this world again? I've seen horrible things on the other side. Oh wait, he doesn't. He's not actually like. It's just. He just looks like his kid. He's not as. He doesn't have the kid's brain or anything, does he? It's kind of weird. I like the sound effects. Oh. 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 Steady. Steady now. Astro Boy! Father, I'm going to kill you. My boy, do you understand who I am? I'm your father. And you're my son. From this day on, you live with me in my house. Understand? Yes, sir. Call me father. 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 Oh, this kid's got the Asperger's. And I'm going to be a good father to you, too, my son. I'm going to teach you everything that there is to know. I'll teach you how to fly, how to swim oceans, how to leap over mountains, how to be the bravest boy in the whole world. I'll be proud of you, son. Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh -uh. Donuts. How are they? Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that? Sky. Bird. Tree. And this? Hut. No house. Oh, I'm the kid's kind of dumb. Lesson, Astro Boy. <laughs> I know, right? Think card, what's the answer? Six billion twenty. Right. Bruh. No, uh, just draw what you see, huh? Huh? Hmm. Ah, why is drawing the molecular structure? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and so the years pass. This is some next level sci fi shit. And Pat. Oh god, he's gonna make him go back in time. Astro Boy's <laughs> mind <laughs> absorbed every lesson it was taught. The boy was happy, beloved by all, the apple of his father's eye, until one day Dr. Boynt noticed that Astro Boy had failed to grow like all the other children. <laughs> Metaphorically, of course. He just he played video the same games time. all day. And Dr. Boynton began to wonder if somehow he hadn't made a mistake. Oh. I tell you, son, that I am unable to understand how, after years of developing into a mental giant, you have failed to grow as much as a single solitary inch. I've been a good father to you, haven't I? Well then, why can't you be a good son to me and grow up to be a normal human child like all the other children around here your same age? 
Oh, the shame of it, the terrible shame. <laughs> Please, my boy, for my sake, try to grow a little, won't you? See if you can grow just a few inches. Yikes! No, no, it is not like that! No, I saw you were created! Fuck you, Dad. Oh, Father! How can you say that? You've always told me that you love me as though I were your very own flesh and blood. Flesh and blood? Why, that's a joke, son. A hideous joke! Father, oh, don't shit. say that. After all, I'm your son. I'm your very own Astro Boy. Father! Father, Father, come back! Let me go! Let me go! Yay? This is fucking tragic. Dead. Astro Boy killed his father. Get him. Get out of here! If you're only by yourself, I'm going to put you out. You understand? Those are my ownership papers for the robot. Mm. He's for sale. He's for sale. He can be used <laughs> for any purpose that strikes my fancy. Very well, my friend. Got Anything? Good. I'll transfer papers at once. Astro, come here. Astro, I've just sold you. From now on, you belong to him. Huh? Oh, no, Father, you can't. So the like happy you merchant. Go pack your things at once and get ready to leave. <laughs> you told me. I can't believe it. What's not to believe? After all, you're not a human child. You're nothing but a machine, like a refrigerator or a dishwasher. Remember, you're a robot. Somehow, you're nice, huh? You're nice. Sure, sure nice. Robo Pinocchio. Ladies and gentlemen, Gajidori the Great, that's me, is pleased to present my big act. A great masterpiece of electronic art created especially for me by the world famous Institute of Science. Presenting Astro Boy. This mighty robot boy powered by a motor with a hundred thousand horses will now attempt to fight a mighty robot Zag in a great fight in which one will be destroyed. Oh my god. That is fucked up, dude. <laughs> Coming at you. Break your shit. Yeah, don't bring your kids to see the uh, robot kid getting brutally dismembered. This takes Robot Wars to a whole new level, I'm telling you. You always gotta bet on the wedge. The wedge always wins. The noses just keep getting bigger and bigger in this thing. Stop this at once. This is a cruel, cruel thing you're doing and right in the public eye. It's a disgrace. Remember, robots are living things too. Why, it's just like ancient Rome. We're gladiators. Shoot. Well, gladiators were supposed to fight to the bitter end and the one who lost was... Uh, uh, shoot. I'm awfully sorry, but you see, every time I get mad, I sneeze. Blave and are totally ripped off Astro mad. Boy. Oh, you're getting mad, huh? Well, what about me, the great Cacciatore? How do you think I feel about your breaking up my show? I'm running a high-class circus with the greatest robots on Earth, and you got the nerve to come down here and tell me my show's no good? Look at these. Licenses for every act in the circus. You say any place in the license where it says the robots cannot fight each other, huh? No. Cacciatore no. circus is 102% legal. Even the crowd is against you. Yeah. Oh, all right, it's just that the boy seems to be so utterly defenseless. 
What you say? Take a good look and you're gonna see that this young robot is a picture of hell. We should all be so strong. That feel. Do, 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 do. Time to get serious. Fuck him up. Cut that part out, all right. Oh, what are you doing? What did you do? See, the problem is also is it for some reason on Tiny Chat you can't uh, start from the same time again. You fucked it up. Hold on. This doesn't always work. Oh, he hasn't made a mistake. Astro Boy, more like Gastro Pub. <laughs> 